Welcome to Theme Park Map Monday, episode 34. As you can see, it's Christmas Eve, uh, coming live from England. So, uh, happy Christmas to everyone. So we thought we'd do a special one this week. Um, what better place to celebrate than being at home is to be at Disney World in Florida. Um, and we got this collection here from 2010. And you notice the theme of this is celebrate, celebrate today, celebrate today. All across the four theme parks, uh, Disney World. So we're going to run through these quite quickly because obviously there's a lot to take in. Um, so we start off with what we always do when we go to Florida. Start off with the Magic Kingdom. Uh, obviously a lovely color cover there with Disney's Electrical Parade. To my mind, still the finest parade that uh, Disney's ever produced. So uh, we were very lucky to see that. Uh, we go straight into the map. Not a great deal of changes. Um, you got like, uh, we're well, saying not a great deal of changes. You got the standard sort of format of the Magic Kingdom, but obviously with here you got massive changes. And uh, with Fantasyland, so Fantasyland has obviously expanded beyond that. So the whole of this top area now is the new Fantasy Fantasyland with loads of new attractions. Um, some people were quite critical of it. Some people like the old style Fantasyland. Some people um, very much like the new one. Uh, I know the, the Beauty and the Beast restaurant is extremely popular. Well worth going on. And you can actually try the grey stuff. Uh, it's delicious. And that's corny. But you can do it. Anyway, you pay a premium. You try to get it on the dining plan. Then try again to get booked in. Extremely popular. Well worth doing. But going back to 2010. Uh, we've got all the normal favourites. Adventureland. Frontierland. Liberty Square. Fantasyland. Tomorrowland. Uh, it got the traditional railway the walks favourite going round it. Uh, that's one thing that surprised us when we're at Shanghai Disney. There's not an actual railway going round it, which I think uh, I'm not sure about Tokyo. I think there's one Tokyo, but as far as I know, it's one of the first to uh, not have that. It doesn't have a small world either, or Big Thunder Mountain, or Space Mountain, but they got a lot of other unique rides there. So um, it's lovely to come back to. Uh, the Magic Kingdom at Disney World, where a lot of the old favourites you'll also find at Disneyland Paris and Disneyland California are. So, let's move on from the Magic Kingdom. Most people watching are pretty uh, aware of the Magic Kingdom layout anyway. So we go to the Animal Kingdom. The Animal Kingdom of 2010. Uh, people have regarded this as like a, a half-day park. Now, it takes a half-day to queue for any of the Pandora stuff. So, uh, <coughs> it's only turned into a full-day park. This whole area down on the left hand side where we're saying Mickey's Jam in Jungle Parade is now in you know, all that area down there. Camp Mini Mickey all been turned into the world of Pandora. It's really turned this whole park around. Uh, it's got some excellent rides anyway, like the, uh, the dinosaur ride down here and obviously the um, Expedition Everest, which is uh, superbly themed and a great roller coaster. I think we're going to see something similar. Uh, maybe under different guys, but something similar will be coming to um, the Disneyland Paris in the foreseeable future. So we think that's going to be uh, more themed like Frozen, because Frozen's obviously going to be one of the lands that's going to be appearing in that. So loads to look forward to. Uh, talking to look forward to here, you know, we've now we've got this uh, Rivers of Light parade that goes through the rivers, uh, again to keep people there. Um, hopefully more sort of projection stuff coming from the Discovery Island, the Tree of Life, the focal point of the centre of Animal Kingdom. Uh, love Animal Kingdom, like the way it's done. Never been a big lover of like the area where they've got the sort of spinning coasters. It sort of goes from very mixed, you know, where you actually believe you're in a, like a safari park and some of you in a Midway fun fair. Uh, each their own. Love the shows here. Love the Nemo show. Um, it's almost like West End quality. It's really good to see. Um, so quickly moving on from the Let's Celebrate the Animal Kingdom to Epcot. <coughs> oh, everyone's favourite spin and puke ride. There we go. Uh, that was mass open and massive uh, adulation when uh, NASA was involved in this, but it was actually didn't realize that trained astronauts are a bit different to people. Uh, first time we went on it, we witnessed someone puking in one of the bins. Um, soon after that, they toned down the ride so you could have the soft ride or the hard ride. Um, I don't think it's the most popular, very popular when it opened, like everything Disney, but uh, it's kind of come big ways. 
So, ah, we've got some magical saber tips. Magical saber tips don't go when everyone else goes. And all of this, how your fast pass used to work. Uh, I think you've still got a limited fast pass there. Um, photo pass service all different now because everything's kind of downloaded. You get your magic bands and everything's on there. Book your meals, book your fast pass, book your photos. Easy. Uh, I know this opened a great criticism when it did, but I find it amazing. Really enjoy it. So, going off to Epcot. Um, when we used to go there years ago, it was kind of like Epcot was the futuristic place, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, with the way that technology has taken over, uh, Epcot is now the experimental prototype community of yesterday. So a lot of development going on, particularly in this area, can have the new Guardians coaster uh, where this Universe of Energy building was, which we always loved. Love going through that. The first time we went on there, probably amazed like most people, this big theatre that just turned around and suddenly turned into a ride. But, you know, that'd be great. And obviously... Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, they've got a big license and they're going to use it. So against a lot of traditional, you know, Disney traditionalists, there's going to be a lot of advancements going and it's going to be themed around their popular items. It's got to get people through the door. Um, so as well as seeing all these new improvements uh, here, probably less of the sort of, you know, tomorrow land type stuff that's there, they're going to go into the... Uh, licensing and everything that goes with it which would be good disney do it well one thing can never be taken away um love the world showcase uh great for taking the kids around learning a bit about that but again slowly changing into um more disney traditional themes you're gonna be lots of rides like paris is gonna have the ratatouille ride um norway has already changed from the maelstrom which we loved back to the frozen ride which we also love it's nice to have a change. It's sad to see the old favourites go. So as things come out, I'm sure in Mexico we're going to see some Coco stuff. You know, there's a lot of merchandise in there at the moment. But I wouldn't be surprised if our ride changes into a Coco. I mean, Coco's a brilliant film. It deserves a bit more than just that little area. But, you yeah, know, restrictions and not everybody's favourite. So I'm sure they're going to be more and more. i uh, be interesting to see what they do as this develops. Um, a lot of spontaneity around here. I used to love the sort of pop up. You suddenly get sort of like um, Chinese acrobats in China, Japanese like warriors in there, France. They just suddenly start doing French stuff, and I always enjoyed it. And United Kingdom always good to go for a pint. Um, they say they serve it uh, cold because apparently over here we serve it warm. Um, I don't think they're right. So Epcot, great park, big park. Get your walking shoes on for that one. And definitely stay for the nighttime entertainment, which I believe is changing. Uh, it's been illuminations for a good many years now. Um, loved it, you know, loved the into when we went in 2000. That was kind of like, that was quite instrumental for the staff like that. A lot of investment done to it, obviously. Hollywood Studios, always, you know, this was well documented. It was opened by Michael Eisner, wanted to do something as soon as he heard that Universal were opening. And he was kind of like, oh, let's quickly create our own studio. Done it in partnership with MGM. So it used to be known as Disney MGM Studios. Now into Disney Hollywood Studios. Um, a lot of speculation and game whether the name's going to change because it's moving away from the traditional. Uh, obviously, most people know, massive, great Star Wars land. Toy Story Land opened this year. So big changes afoot there. Uh, Star Wars Land, they're expecting queues beyond reasonable. I think we'll probably leave it another year before we even go. Um, I don't call having a holiday spending eight hours queuing for stuff. But I literally can't wait to see it like most people. So we go back to the Hollywood Studios of 2010. Uh, okay, let's get this. Celebrate today. Big overall theme of the whole year for 2010. It's different than 2000 when it was all like uh, celebrate the future hand in hand this is just like celebrate because we should we just celebrate life and just being here oh high school musical phenomenally successful uh, high school musical 3 everyone was waiting for it to come out and then people were getting a little bit tired but it was still work there was like um, a little parade and jamming and everything uh, 
you know, Mickey's hat was already firmly in place. Uh, not a great favourite for everyone. Great movie ride, which is now changing. It's going to be a Mickey uh, mini ride. Uh, should be quite good. The ultra fantastic Fantasmic. If you've never seen this show, see it. Um, probably go for one of the dining packages. You go pay a little bit more, but you eat in one of the restaurants. You get a fast pass ticket. Uh, you're guaranteed seating because it can get ridiculously busy. Uh, firm favourite, Terra Terra. Obviously, this one in California has been changed now to Gardens of the Galaxy. It's good, but I prefer the traditional uh, Terra Terra of the drop. Uh, love rock and roller coaster seems to be changing again definitely changing at Disneyland Paris it's going to be um, I think that's Guardians of the Galaxy or Iron Man it was, it's a Marvel ride anyway for sure and changing <coughs> excuse me yeah uh, Beauty and the Beast show it was like that that started the um, the Broadway run of Beauty and the Beast a lot of these big shows do start to get a bit of a feel from there <coughs> uh, had the block party bash Play party and dance in a wildly interactive street party. That was um, always a great one. Great little show. Uh, parade that was going through. Um, all this part now has all changed. All they had the backstage studio of the lot tour. Um, I loved it. I love the first time you go on it because you're just not expecting what's going to happen. Especially when you go kind of like through the uh, Catastrophe Canyon and it all suddenly starts to happen around you. Um, but obviously progress dictates it's going to change your original Star Wars part here nice little themed era um, no doubt the Star Wars theming will be above and beyond what we've even got here um, had the pop idol experience um, American Idol I mean um, guests could just go in there do a little that and even if they didn't get through by getting over there you'd get a fast pass so it was always an idea if you didn't know go in there sing a song badly uh, get your fast pass and then go somewhere else. It's worth going to watch the show. It was always good, but they pulled it after quite a short term, really. Uh, that's it then. So the Hollywood Studios, the biggest changes coming to that park, um, as you can see, you know, almost unrecognisable. But again, traditionists don't like some of the changes. The modern kids love it. Toy Story Land, as you had, uh, you know, with their slinky riders, had immense queues. Kids are loving it, adults loving it. So, um, and I'm sure Star Wars is going to be a massive success. A lot of money going into the Disney parks again, uh, because the success of Marvel, the Marvel franchise, Star Wars franchise. I don't know the figures off the top of my head, but the investment was immense in buying these franchises. But they've made so much money from it that it's really investing. It's allowed them to pretty much own it outright some of the parks like disneyland paris where they co-owned they've got the whole stock it means people like me who invested from the beginning with disneyland paris have kind of shit out on our shares but hey there's progress so well i hope you enjoyed it uh it's christmas eve so have a fantastic christmas everyone i hope you've enjoyed this uh, last theme park map monday for 2018 hope you have a superb christmas and look forward to uh, seeing you all again in the new year hope everyone has a superb 2019 um we'll be going out probably getting very very drunk so i don't mean to be a theme park map monday next week um enjoy have a great year and thanks again for watching